All right, guys. So most of you should know by now that for 2019, the front wings will have changed, the, the side pods, and the, most of the aerodynamic is changing, so the cars can follow each other better. And today we're going to see if we could kind of replicate that in F1 2018. So Ferrari says that they think their car will be um, a second and a half slower around most tracks, so we're at the Hungaro ring. And because it's a downforce, like heavy track, we're going to do first a lap with uh, just the one of the default sets. We'll use the increased downforce one. So let's see what the wing... The wings are at 8 in the front and 9 in the rear. So I'll do a few laps, try and get to my best time, and then I'll play around with the settings to lower the front arrow and make it more, like, more downforce on the rear and I think they're running a higher rake this year as well so we'll up the uh, ride height in the back to try and simulate it and see how it goes from there all right so just in time trial mode and let's do a couple flying laps This isn't my strongest track, but I'd be the best one for the test. A little wide there. I'll be able to clean that up on the next lap. So I'm really curious if I've noticed the difference in those corners. These flat out ones should be about the same. I don't know if you remember in, uh, what year is it, in 2016, the cars are much faster in Mexico because they had less downforce. I wonder if that's something we'll see again this year. Not the lap times are faster, but the speed down the straight. Yeah. Definitely make up a lot more time on the next lap. Alright, so 122, nowhere near a world record, but take it for now. over the curb. I'm expecting this section to be a little bit difficult with the new setup. So, 121.5. So, let's head back to the pits. And play with the setup now to see how it will react. So I know they're making the rear wings uh, wider as well and lower. So, let's go back to the increased downforce. Uh, front wing. I forget 
if they had a percentage of how low it was going to be on downforce, 30% maybe, but let's put that at 4, maybe th 3, I'll put the rear wing to max, and what we could do as well for the rake is rear ride height, let's put it to max, and front ride height, bring it down a couple. I'm also going to play at the ballast. I think I'll put a little bit to the rear because I think with the front wings being less complex, they'll be a little bit lighter compared to the barge boards and the side pods. So I think the weight will shift to the rear a little bit. So we'll keep it like that. So not a very scientific test. Not a lot of math that I it is involved with just just for fun, see what results we'll get. Okay. So, was that 121.5? So we should get a 123 maybe, if everything works out correctly. Or maybe it'll be faster, who knows. Let's try it out. Slot. A little bit wide there. Oh, oh. understeer on the exit. Do this fly out still? Yep. Definitely some lower speed understeer. Just sit around here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just can't take these as fast as I could before. So what do we do? One twenty two. I missed it. Yeah, this corner is a bit difficult. Hope we get better. There's a lot of corner exit understeer. I think just with the understeer there as well. I think on corner exit, with just the heavy arrow on the back and lie on the front, it just, especially with the weight shifting to the rear, it's got no weight on those front tires. I'm sure the engineers will have figured this out somehow already, but. This car does not like to be set up that way. Let's go one more for good measure. Just cannot keep that tidy.
Getting the high speed section going a little bit quicker. I don't know what the front tire temps are right now. I'm just struggling in that section again. Just stay there again. I need to get quicker though. And yeah. Oh, that lot didn't count, but. Just hit again, corner edge of the understeer. So seven tenths of a second off that lap. So yeah, it definitely was a lot. The front end grip was a lot lower. I thought I expected that. I didn't think it'd be that bad though. I just wonder if now the engineers will have to even lower the rear grip to balance it out, and it might be even slower than expected. I'm not really certain how this is going to help the wheel to wheel racing, but I guess we'll see come Australia. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that and try and do some more tests, see if we could figure out some more aero changes and how they'll affect the cars for following and such. Thanks again for watching.